Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, 28 Feb, last day of the month. Let's see what we got today. We're going to start uh, start out checking out this cable chart. It did what we asked it to do yesterday, trading up to 133.50. And as we mentioned, we expect it now 132.50, 133.50 range. Um, with the bias for more top side just because the chart says so you could argue either way uh, politically or brexit wise I'm not trying to I'm not trying to create some sort of story on this I'm just saying chart still says higher um, there's every reason to think that the market is short certainly the long-term guys are still short um, so we'll be playing this from the long side, but today we'll be, we'll be dipping our toes in on dips near 132.50. We do nothing at 133.02, just mentioning it, uh, sort of as a starter. Let's talk about Boons real quick. This is an important chart. Yesterday we broke through this, um, 165.87. This really surprised me, um, but... It is what it is. You have to respect it. We're now up at 91, sort of. This is pre-open, pre-official open, so we don't really take too much stock on this price. But uh, if we get another leg lower here, this will mean yield goes above that critical 15 basis points, and it could signal a turn in boons. The story does not make any sense, but we are going to get loads of Euro, da Euro data today. We got CPI throughout the German regions, we got French CPI, we got Spanish CPI. Um, so, normally this stuff is pretty, you know, there's not too much volatility in the CPI readings, but it's worth a look and it's worth watching boons here. A failure of boons, and if it boons go back up, then we're going to get back on this euro yen uh, kick that we've been on, trying to play euro yen from the downside. But if boons keep going lower, then all of a sudden the euro yen top side uh, opens up a bit. So this will be the surprise trade. This will be the trade that nobody really wants, uh, that feels uncomfortable to basically all of us. So. Oftentimes, that's the side that makes the most money. So let's be open-minded to this now and, and keep a close eye on boons and also now a close eye on this high here, 126.35 in, in Euro Yen. So we're, we're ambivalent of price here, but we're looking for story for Euro Yen. You know, we, we have sort of a story with risk-off, um, but if yields in Europe do rise a bit, this uh, this will neutralize kind of the risk off bit of the story and maybe catch some stale shorts in your end uh, off guard. So watch Boons closely. To the U.S., uh, how about that testimony yesterday? Wow. I mean, one of the things that just nailed home were, was the incompetence of politicians in the U.S. These people are idiots. I'm sorry. The dumb questions that they asked and the exhibits that they used, and also, you know, the sort of slimy, backhanded nature of of many many lawyers in the U.S. Um, you know, that was Omerta, that was an fu from Cohen to Trump, basically confirming a lot of things that we all are, all already knew. Of course, he paid off people to shut them up. Um, of course, he's in this for himself, you know, blah, blah, blah. But uh, I found it quite amusing and uh, highly entertaining. Um, uh, anyway, how can this be good for uh, the U.S. stock market? I don't know. Uh, we're still on the bear side, obviously. We have our structures for downside. We have our core short. Uh, we did reduce our shorts yesterday at 84 um, and sold the close last night. 
absolutely uh, luckily um, and so we're back to normal core short still leaving room to sell if we do take a visit up through 2820 area and then this confirms through 2764 but then more importantly um, 2750 which is 200 day so we're patiently waiting there should be some window dressing today there's no reason um, not to trade both sides today try and get a better average on this idea should be a range why don't we just call it 2780 2798 the range so if you go in with these parameters um, down in the low 80s you might want to trim some of your longs and then maybe again at the end of the day today expect like the sort of phantom phantom ramp and then you can sell the close anyway that's equities uh, dollar yen weird chart there at the end uh, the fix was dollar yen bullish and we kind of ramped up there to 111 looked quite bullish but as we talked about yesterday we had big green big red big green might as well be big red today who the hell knows we're totally in a range put dollar yen aside until we get below 110.25 or until we get above 111.25 just put it away um, you know unless you're just scalping for pips then you know good luck there's some pips it's slow pips but there's probably pips there somewhere not really a whole heck of a lot of other amazing ideas um, we're watching these boons and we're watching uh, the risk off in uh, in S and P's. As far as as far as uh, releases today in the U.S., we have what do we have? We've got U.S. advanced GDP today. That'll be interesting. We got Clarida speaks unemployment claims. So there'll be some stuff in the U.S. afternoon, uh, but in this morning we'll be watching boons and we'll be watching Euro and Euro crosses and how they react to the CPIs in Europe. Not a whole lot to sink our teeth into. Patience seems to be the way of it uh, again today. We'll just nibble on some of these core medium term positions that we have and see what we can do. I wish you guys good luck and hope that you make loads of dough. Talk to you tomorrow.